Alright, since I finished off Jack and Saints Row 4 officially came out, um, I decided to one up, uh, to do a one up on a, oh gosh, I whoever made this stupid game, uh, Black Silver, whatever her name is. I think I'm going to, I'm planning to up one, up, get, up one then because, um, they have, because they built a, because uh, they have one, one exist, one known existence dubstep gun. I'm planning to make that two if this goes out in theory. Because as of right now, I got the, uh, I got the, uh, front, I got the front speaker system off. All, all built, all built out. As far as I know, this is the correct size of the gun. The speakers are a little bit more bigger than I was hoping for, but they work just fine. I'm gonna have to, since this piece right here weighs a, weighs a lot, it's gonna be hanging on the, hanging on the gun by just two small little posts. I'm gonna have to fix it. So I'm gonna have to somehow do some kind of massive uh, support system in there to uh, to uh, to hold this whole to hold this whole piece up. Now I have this all wired out to where um because I have a little control because I have a little control board connected to my speaker stack right here that I use to listen to music when I'm in, when I'm when I'm sleeping. I'm gonna sacrifice the uh gosh dang it. Hold on a second. I'm gonna sacrifice the uh the control board right here that uh that com that uh Sends the audio waves to the right uh, to the right speaker source. This one has a mid. This is a mid. This thing has as inputs for mid-range subwoofer and tweeter. So of course I'm gonna have a. This one's gonna be the subwoofer, mid-range tweeter. So it's gonna have all the as audio aspects. And I also do have the gun already planned out. Oh god, that's all too white and I just crushed something. What in the world did I crush? Alright, let's see if I can get this open. There we go. As you can tell, I got the gun all figured out. This is about the size of the real thing. Now, um, I'm gonna one up them by, uh. <laughs> By um, ad adding vinyl records on here, making them spin like they do in the video game. Um, the the little the little um, whatever you call them right here, move up and down too. I'm going to make some. I'm I'm planning to make a motor system that move them up and down like in the video game. I found I also found uh, found a few videos online showing me how I can make it so I can have LEDs. I'll I'll uh. That'll sync. That'll sequence with the with the beat with the beats of the music that I play, and I'm gonna place an LED system right here. And I'm also planning where, where all the LEDs are inside this gun. I'm planning to make them beat with the with with the with the pulse of, with the beat of the music if it all plan if it all if it all plans out correctly. I don't know if it'll work because I am in state because I'm only in like stage one of this build. I'm currently just building the speaker stack. But like I said, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna one up them big time. Hopefully with this, that's if it goes out. I mean, I did Cortana, but of course she was simple to build to an extent. Even though she took me four months to build, this thing can probably take me only a couple months. Here is one. Of, here's one of the vinyls I'm planning to use. This is from one of my. This is from my. This is from my high school. This was. I got this thing for free, so it really doesn't matter. A bunch of these things that I. Actually, I ran over it, so I cracked it. But simple, but I got like oh gosh, like ten more of these stinking vinyl records, and they're all, and they are very unbalanced. Hold on, I'm gonna try and get this thing plugged in so I can show you that spin.
As you can tell, it does spin, and when you see that little warp right there, it's me, it's when I accidentally cracked it and I ran it all over. Of course, this is not the official vinyl that I'm going to be using, but I got, like I said, I got more vinyls laying around my room. But ever since I bounced it, it actually spins a lot more nicer. Let's see if I can do this without damaging the record anymore. All I got right now is a simple little, is all I got is a little simple CD, um, CD player motor spinning it, spinning it. It takes 5 volts to run, or maybe 9, I don't remember. But I'm currently using the, um, USB, powered USB ports on my Xbox 360 because I can blow that with, if I want. I'm not going to blow my, um, cardboard computer since this thing's on its last legs. Quite literally. But as you can tell, the speakers, I mean, the, uh... It spins up real nice. And of course when it's all built there these these I'm on both vinyls on both sides spin. And the one on where the head is, I'm planning to somehow make the head move too. But if in the videos I've seen, the uh these these vinyls spin really, really fast on the gun. So I'm most likely gonna have to get some kind of other uh most likely going to have to get some other kind of a motor to spin these vinyls because if they spin as fast as I think they do, this little B motor won't be able to, won't be able to do it. But as of right now, this the, I have a few few more of these motors that will work just fine. But as of right now, these motors will work just fine for my needs. At least it works for the most part.